Hello people. If thank you for reviewing another one of my videos. Now, um I made a previous one and I was totally disgusted with that video. It really didn't show much and it just breezed through the whole process. So I'm really going to go into in, into more depth with this one. Also the previous one just showed how to make a guy's voice sound like a female. Now this if you're looking at this, you just installed your Sony Acid Pro, you bought it and installed the the program and you just want to dive into recording music or you maybe just downloaded the pirate version and got a cracked serial key if you did shame on you shame 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 but anyway you're here so first I'm going to show you a recording that was done and it's really an amateur recording I'm going to play it for you first and then show you the points which were wrong and how to fix all of that. So here we go. Now, your ears are probably hurting. Okay, sorry. Well, I'm going to point out the things that are wrong with this. First, some people might think because they have a good voice that, okay, when they get on a microphone and, re and record it, it's going to sound good. It's a, mis a common mistake for most people because not everybody's voice sounds good through a mic as it does just, sound, just when they're regularly singing in a crowd. It might sound perfect in a crowd, but not through speakers. You have to edit. You have to do some editing to get that good so the first thing that I would suggest is getting a decent microphone now some of you might be recording through a webcam and that's terrible don't do it because you're going to end up having to shout into the webcam or you're just going to get terrible vocals others might be recording through a rock band microphone or a $20 microphone I would really suggest you spend a little bit more money, get you a compressed mic. I have a Samson. It costs around $100, $130, I, I forget. But it's a compressed microphone. This is the picture of it right here, Samson, uh, CO1U, whatever. Um, and it really picks up the vocals. A second common mistake is, see these squiggly lines right here? Those are the inputs for the vocals. That show, shows you what, what got recorded. Now, some of you might think because the squiggly lines are high, that means the recording was good. And that's an amateur mistake. If you're used to so Sony Acid Pro or Pro Tools, you'll, you'll know that just because the lines are small or not even there doesn't mean that, that it didn't pick up anything. It's, it, it means that you did a decent recording. If they're big like this, that basically shows that you were screaming into the mic. or And if that's what the song required, okay. But really, it shouldn't be this varied with the with the lines. It should be mellow, a mellow, common pace. That's a second mistake. Another mistake is there was no editing on the vocals. The track effects was basically left blank. There was nothing. They just recorded and sent it over to me to do my work I tried and even after what I tried to do it's still hurt my ears so I'm gonna ask them to record it again I did it did a separate take and this is what I'm gonna show you more in-depth of how to fix the vocals first let's play it She's in my body on fire, fire I make her do the things the girls don't do She got both of her hands tied up, tied up It's me and her up in this interview So first, I'm going to show you how to edit the track effects you want to click this. This is the the vocal, the first vocals right here. I know you see two. I'm going to get into that later. This is the first first vocals right here. I'm going to click track effects, and you want to have your pre presets saved. This this one is the, the top one is my main vocals, so I I have my presets set to vocals. 
what I did is I went, I clicked into this edit chain, blah, blah, blah. And I picked my, my, um, effects. I picked track EQ. I picked noise gate, smooth enhance, multi band. I had reverb on there, but I didn't use it. As you see, it's unchecked and I had acid effects. So I, picked all of those and I did some editing with track EQ I increased the gain just just for the first one just, just for the first dot you see it there four I increased the gain to 10 and kept the frequency at 100 and the roll off at 12 kept it at high shelf I just increased the gain to ha give it to basically um increase the volume on the voice That's, and two three and four I left the same two is, is the same three untouched four untouched just when i just increase the vocals noise gate i really just on f for it to not seem like i'm even because even when you raise the gain on the track it might se seem like t too loud so noise gate keeps that under control smooth enhance i use smooth basically so when i'm saying or if he's ro rolled off my tongue smoother if you go to enhance basically makes the voice louder um that's when you're doing more powerful notes multi-band dynamics i have this you want, might want to bring it up so that you can see everything i just um changed the first one because since with track eq i um altered the the first notch i just changed the first one on multi-band and as you can see the presets were basically the default settings but i just have it on here you can check that out all right hope you got it everything else i left the same see for the second one is is normal three and four didn't even use or nothing like that and reverb i had it on here because most songs if you listen to them closely there's a reverb there's an echo in the voice on the doubles i had that on here but then i um used another effect which is acid effects and that had a reverb in there so i took that took the reverb off of i unchecked the reverb and just kept reverb on and acid effects and did some editing in there i'm not going to show you what acid effects settings i have because that's my little secret i like to keep to personal and but if you're if you're using this video just check out acid acid effects and do some editing for yourself you can also edit the the settings while the song is playing just click on this uh, on on the vocals press play and just change the settings to hear how it sound while, while the music's playing so you can basically do a quick run through on how you want your music to sound now like i said earlier there's a second um notch there's there's a second input for vocals that's my doubles so see here i have the settings set to subtle doubles track two now with most songs people if you listen closely again you hear there's doubles there's never there's never really just one one take there's always a a double and then a du another double and then a delay and all all types of stuff on on a song if you listen closely, um, what Lloyd's lay your lay your head down has tons of doubles. Chris Brown, ton of Chris Brown songs have a du doubles on there. Trey songs that all they all have doubles and echoes and just delays on there that you that that's really slight won't notice it, but it makes the song sound better. So with here I have track EQ set to just nothing, nothing, just regular. Everything's not changed at all didn't increase the gain kept everything the same but i kept track i put track equalizer on just basically because it's, it's necessary with reverb i put the settings on wide open hall because although i have reverb in the first take i want reverb again so it'll give me a better secondary echo you see wide open hall mode four decay blah 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 you can see it this is uh, a video you could pause it and replay it or whatever multi tap delay I kept at cathedral again see I'm bringing this up because 
there's a bigger there's more settings at the bottom some of you might not not realize that so I bring I'm bringing this up to show you I have cathedral settings I didn't really do much changing here changes here because the, the preset already for cathedral has it set already a cathedral setting just gives it a fuller fuller echo and time stretch that's what I like to call my delay so if you're um, playing a song and if if you're if you're listening to a song you hear you you'll hear the delay you hear you'll hear the double as a delay and i i i set the time to 120 so it's it's a 10% delay on the song the music is at 5 and i put the input at percentage not tempo or time just percentage now let's hear it again Now you heard that little echo for fire. That's that's what I like with the delay. Now, when you get into editing your songs, you might want to have some headphones so you can listen to it better. So while you're playing the song back through your headphones, you really because if you're playing it through your speakers, you might not hear everything that you should for, for just you guys that are editing your song so i recommend if you don't have the money to buy 100 dollars or 50 dollar headphones just get some cheap ones that stick in your ear these are some cheap picks of cheap ones i i use sometimes this one i bought at walgreens i think for 15 dollars this one i stole from a friend and th th i i like these sometimes because i can put it in one ear and just listen to the song while I'm um, listening to other stuff, and basically, this is a more in-depth way on how to edit your songs. Another thing I like to show you is also you see here the beat is on the third line. I like to keep mine on the first one so they're out of my way. But basically, mostly done with sh with showing you. Like I said, just check out some of these presets. You might even find one that you that you like yourself and get to work. Hopefully you might come up with 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 the hit. And thank you. That's all. Again, like I said, most of the music this beat I co produced with um a producer from G City and the song I I wrote myself. I just basically write songs and give them out for free. If you like this song or want to hear the full version, just contact me. I'll have a web page set up later on. And also, the, these, this last minute is more for the producers, beat makers. Uh, if you make a beat and you put it on YouTube and you don't say that it's for sale or you don't say that it's on SoundClick, check out your SoundClick page, it can get jacked and put on somebody's song all they have to do is just give you credit for it so just let you guys know make sure you make sure if you're putting a beat on youtube that you're you're allowing people to you're you're, you're setting parameters for what it should be be used for most times people might just take it because you haven't responded to them and record it that's something that i do sometimes because like i write my songs without a beat and I just go on YouTube, check out some beats that people made. I'll send them an email. If they don't hit me up, hey, your shit got jacked. Uh, but I'm just, uh, just, j just letting you guys know. Please make content, re re reply to your emails, you beat makers, and also set parameters for what how you want your beat to be used. If you don't have anything set. All somebody has to do, do is basically credit you for that for, for that beat. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Hope you check out more of my videos.